Hi guys, if you just caught up with us, my name is Penny and I'm my second day at detox and I've woken up this morning, I barely got out of bed and my body was craving the mat. So I'm going to be, we're closed here at Orion Healing Centre but I'm going to be doing my own self-practice and thought you might want to, you might want to take part and join in. So I'm going to start on the ground. I'm going to start with cross legs. You can do this at home. I can just place a block underneath my bottom. You can use a cushion, whatever feels nice for you. Placing the hands on the knees or face up. Up to you. I'm just going to come into my breath. Just grounding myself with each breath. Listening to the sounds around me. No judging, just noticing. My spine's nice and long, my shoulders relax, my face relax. I just take a few more breaths here until I sort of settle myself. My body feels settled and relaxed and focused and calm. And I kind of continue doing this until I feel a sense of peace and groundedness. Set myself an intention for my yoga practice today. Bring my hands to my heart. And prayer just to embrace that into my body. So it says that this is my own self-practice today. Now we're going to take you through. <laughs> so I'm going to me behind. Um, and so when you're doing your own self-practice, it's, it's kind of following your own body's intuition of what it might, of what it might want or need. Okay? So I'm going to remove the block from underneath me. I'm going to bring my wrists out. In fact, I'm going to start rotating my wrists. I'm just warming up the body first. Lovely. I'm keeping my breath nice and calm, my shoulders nice and relaxed. Lovely, and the other way. So again, when you're doing a yoga practice, when you do something one way, always do it the other. Also, if you do it one side, always do it the other, keeping the body in perfect balance. Lovely, I'm going to place my fingers together, take a nice interlink them, take a nice inhale as I lengthen through the spine. Exhale as I'm rolling through the top of the back. Rolling through the top of the back. I'm really spreading my shoulder blades here. I'm breathing in between my shoulder blades. This for me feels really nice and really tight in between my shoulder blades today. I might just want to move my head gently from side to side as well. Good, that felt nice. I've been putting my hands behind my back. I'm inhaling as I'm opening up through my chest. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm not allowing my head to fully drop back, but I'm just opening up through the front of the body and inhaling into my chest area. Expanding my chest, just noticing how it feels when I do that. Taking nice deep breaths, I'm taking nice deep breaths into my chest. Each time opening up my chest, it feels really, really good. Expanding my ribs, full yogic breath this one actually that I'm doing. 
into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. And then out of the chest, the ribs and the belly. Love, now my next inhale, I'm lifting my head back up. And as I exhale, I'm just gonna drop my head forward just a little bit, just stretching through the back of the neck. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna start rotating my neck. and the other way. I've got my eyes closed, by the way. Beautiful. Lovely. Come back to center. Okay. So I'm going to come to all fours. Cat, uh, tabletop, cat cow. I'm going to make sure my fingers are spread, that my knees are below my hips. And I'm going to inhale as I'm arching the spine. Exhale as I tuck my tailbone under. I'm a little bit stiff today, wow. Inhaling, arching the spine. Exhale, tucking the tailbone on. Like I said, like with your own self practice, if you're going to start doing your own self practices, be about closing your eyes and allowing your body to feel wherever it wants to move. Normally in my class, I usually get my clients to then maybe start drawing figures of eight. So this is where we start to little bring a little bit of movement into our bodies, closing our eyes. When we're in the class setting, we're not looking at anybody else. We're not judging ourselves. We're just literally closing our eyes, following our breath, and just coming into whatever pose feels nice for you. Maybe you want to hold a pose. Maybe you want to stay in cat and cow. I quite like moving, feels nice for me. Whatever feels nice for you, come into that now if you're following me. Well, it's more advanced, can come into like a, a flow up to you. If you're following along with me, we're just going to come back into extended child's pose. So my hands are uh, <laughs> pointing towards the front of the mat. My forehead comes down to the mat, and my knees are wider than my hips. And my bottom comes my bottom comes down to the ground. If the bottom is high, you can place a block or a cushion, a pillow, or anything like that underneath. Love him. Next inhale, I'm going to come up, take the knees in. I'm going to tuck the back toes under. As I push back into my first downward facing dog, I make sure that my hands are fully spread evenly. The weight is evenly distributed. As I'm starting to paddle through the back of my legs, oh, especially when you've just woken up, they're a little bit stiff. So just paddling the back of the legs. Again, close your eyes. You can close your eyes. It really allows you to Come into your practice, feel your body. Following your breath with the movement, the deeper you can have your breath, the deeper your practice will be. Ah, this feels so good. Lovely, if you're rounded in the spine as well, let's bend the knees, uh, lengthening the spine out there. If you want a bit more of a, um, a guided yoga lesson, then take a look at one of my others. They're a bit more guided. As I said, this is a self-practice, so I'm just gently going through it, and if you'd like to follow. Lovely. I'm going to look between my hands. I'm going to step between my hands, taking a nice inhale here. I'm flattening my back, and as I exhale, I'm folding. I'm just going to hang my arms here, cross the arms and just hang. Feeling quite tight in the back of my legs today and my lower back. So I'm just going to hang here, just for a little bit, following my breath, allowing my head to hang. 
breathing. Nice, long, deep breaths. Now I'm going to drop my hands here. I'm actually pedaling out the back of my legs just a little bit because actually I'm feeling a little bit tight there. Oh, feels good. Now remember to follow the breath with the movement. Beautiful. And that's just going to release a little bit as I inhale. I'm drawing the energy up from the earth. Take it out to the sky, and as I exhale, I'm drawing this beautiful energy down through my crown into my heart center, allow it to spread to the rest of my body. Beautiful. Okay, I come to the front of the mat. So start warming up a little bit more now, so I'm gonna inhale, rising the arms up, gentle back bend. Exhaling as I'm folding forward. I bend the knees because I have lower back problems, resting my belly onto my thighs. Inhale as I'm opening up through the chest. Exhale as I'm jumping or stepping back into my plank. So I'm going to hold plank here. I'm engaging my core, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Breathe. Lovely. I'm going to take a nice inhale here. And as I'm exhaling, I'm lowering my knees, chest and chin, elbows, and I'm scooping through. Woo! <laughs> Hello, back. Inhaling as I'm opening up through the chest, drawing the shoulders back and down, and pointing the toes. Let's take a few breaths here, actually. Let's move these a little bit. Now, if you just check your alignment here, I like to be able to take my hands off for Cobra. Good, breathe. Take a nice inhale as I'm pushing through my hands. Almost coming into uh, extended child's pose position before I push back into down facing dog. So I'm still a little bit tight today, so I'm going to carry on pedaling out my feet. Feel free to hold the pose. Find stillness in the pose. I'm also making sure that my uh, ears are in line with my arms. Breathe. Broaden the shoulders. Allow the bottom to face to the sky. Lovely. I'm going to look between my hands. I'm stepping between my hands. Nice inhale here. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise the arms up. And exhale. Hands to heart. Beautiful, just take a few moments here, of course. Love it, as we go again, this time a little bit faster following the breath and the movement. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, jump or step back into plank. Take a nice inhale here. As we exhale, lower down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back. Down facing dog. Good. You can see, probably even with my body, that I'm just, you can see I'm warming up a little bit here now. Just breathing into this down facing dog. Broadening the shoulders. I'm scanning my body, just making sure I'm holding the correct posture, so I'm checking with my hands. Are they fully rooted into the earth, pushing through my thumb and my finger, slightly rotating my um, forearms and broadening the back of my shoulder blades, taking my tailbone up to the sky, shining my bottom to the sky as I externally rotate my inner thighs and then pushing my heels down. Good. Remember, bend the knees if you have any roll rounding in the back. Good. Look in between the hands, jump or step in between the hands. Take a nice inhale here, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise in the arms up. And exhale, bring that beautiful energy back into the heart space, back into the heart center. Inhaling, rise in the arms up, gentle back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen, flat back. Exhale as we jump or step back into our plank. 
take a nice inhale here. As we exhale, lower down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, coming up, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, down facing dog. Good, start to hold the down facing dog now. Really feeling that stretch on the back of the legs, broadening the shoulder blades. Let's breathe. Lovely, look between the hands, jump or step between the hands, take a nice inhale here, from that back, exhale, fold. Inhale, rising the arms up, and exhale, hands down. Good. So I'm just going to take a little pause here, just remembering that I'm, I'm detoxing, so I don't want to go too crazy, I want to be careful of my ups and downs, I'm on day two at the moment, so... I'm still okay, but remember if you, you are detoxing along with me, remember just to take the pauses whenever you need. This is the perfect place to do it, in Tadasana or down facing dog. Beautiful, inhale, rising the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen, flat back. Exhale as I'm stepping back with the right leg, lower the right knee, point the toe, inhale as I'm opening up through the chest. Exhale, placing the hands back down to the floor, tuck that back toe under, step into plank. Take another nice inhale here, as we exhale, lowering knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back, down facing dog. On your next inhale, we're rising the right leg up to the sky. As we exhale, we're taking it across the opposite elbow. Inhale, rising up. Exhale to the elbow, the same side. Inhale up. Exhale to the opposite. Inhale up. Good. Lovely. I seem to have a lot of energy <laughs> on my second day of detox. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Good. A few more of these. Lovely. And then we're going to come down into pigeon. Good. So I'm taking an inhale up. I'm drawing the knee towards my right wrist. I'm turning my foot, sliding my back leg back, pointing my toe, inhaling as I'm opening up through the chest. Exhale as I'm coming down. Good. Breathe into this space. So you may not be as flexible. You can take a cushion and place it underneath your bottom if need be. You can stay up here if it is enough for you. The more flexible you are, the more this leg is going to come out. Okay? Yeah, breathe. Lovely. I'm taking a nice inhale as so I'm coming back up, placing my hands back down on the ground, tucking my back toe under. Exhale. On my next inhale, I'm rising my right leg up to the sky, bending the knee and opening up the hips. Exhale, pushing through the hands. Breathe. Good. Placing that foot down, let's come onto the other side. Take a nice inhale, rising the left leg up to the sky. Exhale as so we're taking it to the opposite elbow. Inhale, rising it up. Exhale to the same side. Lovely, let's do a few more of these and then follow my breath with the movement. Lovely, and now I'm going to come down into pigeon. Remember, I'm bringing the knee towards the wrist, turning that foot, sliding my back leg back, pointing my toe. Inhale, opening up through the chest. Exhale, gently coming down. Good. Breathe into the space. Breathe into the hips. Breathe into the back. Breathe into whatever needs releasing or relaxing.
Loving your legs. Inhale, coming back up onto your hands. Tuck that back toe under. Keeping that left knee up into the sky. Leg into the sky, bend knee. Open up the hip. And squeezing what we just squeezed. Beautiful. And lovely, place that foot back down on the floor. Let's come back into our down facing dog. So our feet are hip width apart, our fingers are nice and spread. Thumb and finger pushing into the ground, tailbone to the sky, drawing the shoulders back and down, and the ears in line with the arms. Good, look between the hands, step between the hands with that right leg. Inhale as we open up through the chest, drawing the shoulders back and down. I'm gonna slightly walk this right leg out as I'm placing my hand on the inside. Up to you if you want to keep the knee up or down, I'm gonna bring it down. We take a nice inhale here, open up. And as we exhale, we come down onto the elbows if we are flexible enough. Otherwise, we take a block or two. Cool, and breathe. Beautiful. So if you're on a block, just removing the block, placing the hands back down. Let's push into that, into that right knee. Oh, feels good. Lovely, bringing that back in. Good, tucking that back toe under, stepping back into down facing dog. Go once again, looking forward, stepping between the Foot with the uh, step between the hands with the right foot. Inhale, rising the arms up, pushing that back heel back. Lovely. Exhale, placing the hands down, stepping forward with that back leg. Forward fold. Find your own breath with the movement. Inhale, so rising the arms up. And exhale, hands down. Good. Coming onto the other side. Gonna inhale, rising the arms up, gentle back down. Exhale as we fold forward. Inhale as we look up, lengthen flat back. Exhale as we're stepping back with the left leg, lower the knee, point the toe. Inhale as we open up through the chest. Exhale, placing the hands back down onto the floor, stepping back into your plank. Take a nice inhale here. As we exhale, lowering knees, chest and chin. Inhale into cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, down facing dog. I'll be looking between the hands, stepping between the hands with that left leg. Lower that back knee or keep it straight and completely up to you. I'm going to walk the hands on the inside of my foot. As I take a nice inhale here, and as I exhale, I come to where is comfortable for me. Just getting into the hips here. Breathe. Nice, long, deep breaths. Remember, the deeper your breath, the stronger your practice. The stronger, maybe the deeper your practice. And your next inhale, coming back up onto your hands, removing the block, just push that knee away. Ah, that's good. Breathe. Lovely, allowing that knee to drop back in, tuck that back toe under, stepping back into your plank. Take a nice inhale here, you're engaging the core. Lowering the knees, chest and chin. 
Inhale as we're coming up into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale as we're pushing back, Down Facing Dog. So if I'm following my body's own intuition, I feel like I need to open my hips a little bit more. So I'm going to inhale my right leg, bend my knee and open up my hip. So that's what's calling right now for my body. Beautiful. Placing that foot down and coming onto the other side. Inhaling, rising my left leg up to the sky. Bending my knee and opening up the hip. Lovely, placing that back down, looking between my hands, looking between the hands with my left leg, inhaling and rising the arms up. Sorry guys, I can't actually remember if I had my knee down on the other side or not. But it feels good for you. Inhale, opening up through the chest, I think I have my knee down. Pass the hands down and step forward, lovely. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. I think you can tell the detox kicking in now. Slight brain fog, but it's okay. Go ahead. Inhale, rise the arms up, gentle back bend. Exhale as we fold forward and we start slowing down. Inhale, look up, length and front. Exhale as so I'm stepping back with the right leg, lower the right knee, point the toe. Inhale as so I'm coming up with the arms. Good. Exhale, placing the hands down. So I'm going to use blocks for this. So if you don't have blocks and you're at home, feel free to use sort of top where I thought was quite a good thing. Obviously you're flexible enough, you don't need to use the blocks. I like the blocks. I'm taking a nice inhale, opening up through the chest. And as I exhale, I'm just walking the blocks back and pushing through. Just with my front leg. <laughs> good, breathe. So we take a nice inhale as we're coming forward. Good. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, forward. Exhale. Good. Inhale, forward. You can hold each one if you like, or you can come back and forward like me, completely up to you. We can hold the pose. We can sort of Deepen it a little bit with our breath. Good. A few more. Nice. Good, beautiful. Take the blocks out of the way, placing the hands on the ground, tucking that back toe under, let's step back into our plank. Hold here. Pushing through the hands, broadening the shoulders, drawing the navel in towards the spine. So I need to push my heels away. Take a nice inhale here as we exhale. I'm going to come into Chaturanga. If you don't know what it is, come knees, chest, chin. Inhale, coming up into Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, down facing dog. Beautiful. We're going to come onto the other side. Lovely. I'm going to step between the hands with the right leg this time. Inhale as I open up through the chest. So I'm going to drop this back knee, I'm going to collect the blocks, take a nice inhale as we open up through the chest, exhale one coming back, good, one side might feel a little bit different to the other, inhale open up, through the chest, and exhale, Whoa, are you feeling that now? It's getting hot in here, <laughs> Exhale forward. And exhale. Good. Inhale forward. And exhale. Good. Breathe. Now we're going to remove the blocks out of the way. Place the hands back down the floor, tuck that back toe under, stepping back into your plank. Take a nice inhale here as we exhale, lowering knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale to cobra upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, down facing dog. 
out. We're going to look between the hands. Step between the hands. Take a nice inhale here. Flat back. Exhale. Good. Inhaling, rising the arms up. Exhale and start. Good. Just take a few moments here. So nice, okay. So I'm gonna come to my feet apart, placing the hands on the hip. Take a nice inhale as I'm rolling the shoulders back and down. Exhale as I'm pushing my bottom towards the back wall. I'm folding from the hips. I'm bringing my hands down to the ground. So wherever your flexibility is, feel free. You might want to just cross your arms. I'm gonna take a hold of the outer edges of my feet. Take a nice inhale here and exhale, I'm gonna fold. You might want to use your Tupperware out your block and come down onto your elbows. She feels nice too. Let's stay here. Good. Breathe. Nice deep breath. Lovely. We're just going to remove the block or the Tupperware if you have it, or books. We're just going to place one hand. Oh, no, actually, you might want to use the block. One hand on the on the block or the floor. As we inhale, I'm stroking that arm and I'm coming up into a spinal twist. Go with each inhale. I'm just opening up that little bit more. Good. Exhale. I'm coming down. I'm on the block. I'm just going to change that. Stroking that arm. Inhale. Coming up. Opening up through the chest. Good. Inhale, open. And exhale, bringing that arm down. Okay, I'm just going to walk my feet in just a little bit. I'm going to crouch down like a, like a frog. I'm just going to warm that up either side. So I'm going to come in even more. I'm putting my elbows on the inside of my knees placing my hands together in prayer, and I'm pushing my knees out. Good, just breathe here just for a moment, just dropping the shoulders back and down. Good, take a nice inhale. And as I'm exhaling, I'm gonna come into an almost forward fold. Okay, inhale up. And then hang on, inhale. I ah, feel good. Inhale, bringing it back in. Blah. Nice. That's a line drawer, those of you that don't know. Inhaling in. Exhale. Blah. Nice. We can just spread the feet a little bit. I'm going to come into the goddess pose. So I'm going to inhale up, and the same again. This is kind of fun and brings heat in the body. It's quite powerful. And have a nice little chuckle to yourself as we just stand up. Lovely. So what does my body feel like doing now? Okay. I'm going to come into tree pose. So I'm going to ground my foot down into the floor. I'm going to imagine roots coming out of the center of my feet down as the ground is spreading across the earth. That just allows me to connect to Mother Earth and just ground myself a little bit more. No worries if that's not your thing. Love you. Take a nice inhale as we're drawing the knee into the chest. And as I exhale, I'm going to place the foot wherever's comfortable for me. Beautiful. Placing the hands at the heart. So uh, I do have another video which is going to have more description. This is my own self-practice. I'm just flowing through. But I do have to mention for this one, don't place the foot on the knee. Okay, placing the hands at the heart. Inhaling, I'm rising my arms up. Beautiful. Breathe. Okay, 
On the inhale, so I'm placing my hands together. Exhale, drawing the hands down. Squeezing my knee into the chest. Beautiful. Ah, feels good. Okay, placing the sole of the foot on the ground. The magic roots coming out of the sole of the feet down into the earth and spreading across the earth. On our next inhale, let's take the knee into the chest. And as we exhale, placing the foot wherever it's comfortable for us. Anything, guys, bar the knee. Okay. Ooh. Placing the hands at the heart. Beautiful. Breathe. Inhaling, opening the arms up. That's feels so nice, Denise. It's freeing. Beautiful. Breathe. Lovely inhale as we're drawing the hands back together. Exhale, bringing the hands down through the heart center. Squeeze that knee into the chest. And let's allow the leg to come down, shaking out those legs. Okay, I'm going to start slowing down, coming down onto the floor. So, I'm going to take both feet out. I'm taking both feet out. I'm removing the flesh from underneath my bottom. I'm going to cross one leg over the other. If you're flexible enough, bring the other leg around. Any knee problems? I have knee problems, so I'm going to keep my leg out. Placing my hand around my high knee. I'm going to inhale as I'm opening up through the chest. Placing the hand with the high knee behind the back as I inhale, rising the opposite arm. As I exhale, I'm taking the elbow across and coming into a twist. If that's difficult, then take a hold with your hand. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. So the foot that's on the ground, I'm drawing that toe in towards my face. Nice inhale here, lengthen, exhale. Let's come to a gentle counter twist. Nice. Good. Uncross those legs, coming onto the other side. Taking the, uh, the hold of the high knee. Inhale as we, you see this, opening up through the back. Lovely. Dropping the shoulders back and down. Placing the hand with the high knee behind the back. Inhale, rising the arm. Exhale. In the elbow across. Good. As we inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. I'm just gently twisting here, not too much. Now the inhale as I come back to center. Exhale, gentle counter. Good. Inhale back to center. So I'm going to come to lying down on the mat now. I'm going to bend the knees. I'm going to bring my arms out either side. I'm going to inhale as I'm drawing the knees into the chest just a little bit. And as I exhale, just allowing the knees to drop over to the one side as I look in the other direction. Again, if the knees are high, place a cushion or a block underneath the knees. And look in the opposite direction. Both shoulder blades on the ground. Your next inhale, drawing the knees back to center. And as we exhale, coming to the other side. Again, remember to place the block under the knees if they are high. Breathe and relax into the mat. I'll be inhaling, drawing the knees back into center. Exhale, give yourself a nice squeeze. Rock from side to side. And your next inhale, you're going to take your soles of the feet up to the sky. Take a hold of the outer edges of the feet. We'll just rock a little bit here. Beautiful, and then bring them back down. So my back is asking desperately for a back opener. So you can use a towel for this, if you have a towel, a rolled up towel, and then you can place it down. And then 
you come to lying down so it's kind of just underneath your shoulder blade and you open up through the back if you have a block you can use the block in between the shoulder blades that feels nice for you Let the mind wanders to bring it back to the breath, just allowing the body to fully relax. And if you're enjoying that and want to stay there, feel free to stay there. I can quite easily stay here. I'm a little worried that the battery might run out on the camera. So I'm going to come out. When they come out, gently rolling up. Gently, gently, gently. Pulling the, the towel out. And I'm gently coming back down, allowing my body to, to take in the pose I just did. Lovely. And for me, I just want to lace a block underneath my bottom and take my legs out. Again, you can take a cushion. You can take a cushion or a couple of cushions and place it underneath as well. Just arch the spine. I'm have my knees bent out. Another pose you can do is take your legs up into the air. That's quite nice. Yeah, my body wants that more. Okay, I'm having my palms facing the sky. Breathe. But again, hold that as long as you wish. You can pause the video. Again, just remove the blocks or pillows from underneath you, lowering yourself down gently. Lovely. I'm going to squeeze my knees into the chest. So if you have come out of the pose, we're just going to come into Shavasana. If there's anything that your body still wants to do, feel free to do so. I've got one more pose that my body is asking for. I'm going to place the soles of my feet on the ground, place my soles of the feet together, and allow my knees to drop out either side. So again, to be a little bit more comfortable, I can place blocks underneath my knees. Just a bit of support, and just take my arms out, lovely, and just come into my breath. Again, this feels so good. I don't really want to come out of it, so feel free to stay in it if you want. Just pause the video. Now I'm going to remove the block, take a nice inhale as I'm drawing my knees in, squeezing them into the chest, exhale. Now I'm just going to come into Shavasana.
as he's turning the palms to face the sky. Taking the legs a little bit apart and allowing the feet to, to fall to either side. So I'm completely relaxing into the mat. Just noticing my breath once more. Each inhale, putting in that breathing in that fresh prana with each exhale, I'm just releasing into the mat, just allowing my body to reap the benefits of the yoga I've just done. Okay, so I'm just going to relax the body further. I'm just going to take myself through a guided visualization. I usually start at the feet with white light, but I'm actually going to start at the crown of the head this time. So I'm going to build up a beautiful ball of white light at the crown of my head. Actually, I'm, going to, I'm going to imagine this sort of like a direct light coming in this time, like a beam. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to imagine a beam of white light coming in through the crown of my head. And as the beam of light opens up through the crown of my head, coming into my body, this beautiful white light is cleansing my body, almost like water. Relaxing my forehead, my eyes, my cheeks, my mouth, my tongue. It trickles down to my neck, my shoulders, trickles down my arms into my hands. This beautiful beam of white light is shooting through my body, relaxing my chest, my ribs, and my belly. It's healing and re-energizing my spine as I take my mind right there. Softening my back, relaxing my hips, my bottom. As I'm allowing this beautiful light, these two beams of light now, down either leg into my feet. Relax from the soles of my feet. Beautiful. So I've got this beautiful beam of white light flowing through my body from the crown of the head through my body to the soles of the feet. So I'm just going to just take a pause and just notice how that feels. So if you're following with me, just do the same. Beautiful, I'm basking in this beautiful white light. Now if I wish, I can expand this energy, not only within my body, but around and outside my body as well, depending on however I want to visualize that. So for me, I've got the beam of white light coming through my body, and I'm just allowing the energy to come off this beam and expand from the inside to the outside of my body. And again, I'm just breathing into this space and just noticing how it feels. I take a listen to the sounds around me. Noticing my breath. me, I'm just going to start lengthening the breath once more. As I inhale this beautiful white light in, calming, cooling and energizing the body. Each exhale, letting go of anything that the body no longer wants or needs, inhaling in. Allowing that white light to energize and purify my body as I exhale, letting go of anything that the body no longer wants or needs. Once more, this is feeling good. Inhaling it in, expanding my energy field. As I exhale, just don't grab that any unwantedness that wasn't needed in my body. Lovely coming back to the breath.
just normal breathing and the sounds around you in the present moment. So maybe you feel a tingling sensation throughout your body now, maybe not. My body's got a tingling sensation all the way through it. It's totally beautiful. And no worries if you don't have it, it will come. It takes practice. And it's just about a letting go and just being. I'm really enjoying the Shavasana. You could stay here for another five minutes in silence. So feel free if you want to stay in silence, just pause the video and do Shavasana for a bit longer. Otherwise, we're going to wiggle our fingers and our toes. Bringing the arms up over the head, giving ourselves a nice stretch. Ah, brand new, fresh start to the day. You now we've done body, mind, and spirit good. We're drawing the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. And when I'm ready, I'm just rolling onto my right side, placing my hands underneath the cheek for a cushion. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to gently come up to sitting. I'm doing it mindfully. Going back to cross-legged if that's what's comfortable for me. <sighs> placing my hands together at the heart. Beautiful smile on my face and gratitude of practice today of being able to be here on the mat. Just taking another nice few breaths, settling myself here. Just thanking myself for my practice today, knowing I've done body, mind, and spirit good. And bringing my thumbs to my forehead, I acknowledge my inner wisdom, trust in my own judgment, and believe in myself. I know I have all the answers in there, I just have to trust and believe. Bringing the thumbs to my lips for kind words to myself and others. And bringing the hands back to the heart for an open heart, giving it a seat on them. And let's just give some love to all those people that you feel needed today, especially with what's going on. Let's just, all together, let's just give out some, some real love from our hearts. And like with the white light, just feel it expanding. And just notice how it feels. As you're pouring the white light, I've got white light pouring out as well, and love. Onto all humanity and everything around, nature, the animals, Mother Earth, Father Sky, all the beautiful people, the children, the mothers, the fathers, the friends, grandparents, the aunties, the uncles, the siblings. Let's just pour so much love onto everybody. Beautiful, and just notice how it feels. Also, just feel the collective love just being poured back in. It's allowing it to trickle into your own body as well, giving yourself a little bit of self-love. Just notice how it feels. Yeah, beautiful. Take a beautiful smile at your beautiful selves. Thanks for joining in with me for my practice today. Bringing the thumbs to the forehead. I'm bowing in honor of myself and you guys. Namaste. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or whatever you're up to.